What's up YouTube? As you can see, I'm in a sling, all robotic and everything. I got this stress ball I'm using even to gain back my control of my muscles and everything, but here we go, let's talk about it. Ended up tearing my bicep tendon on top of losing my dog last month. It, last month was just a hectic month, all in all, one of the worst months of my entire life. Um, still dealing with both this and my dog going through depression right now like no other. I feel for people who go through this type of stuff now, I, I have no words for it. I really don't. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. I heard you deal with the stuff your whole life. You just have a way of dealing with it. And I'm going to work my best to find that peace with myself and my life. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I uh, couldn't even make it to the gym yesterday because I was crying literally for hours on hours at the end of the day. And I couldn't push myself. And I know the gym is where I need to be for all this to happen for me. So uh, that being said, we're here today, and even with a busted ass arm, post-surgery, it's the first workout post-surgery, and uh, I'm going to see what I can do. Um, obviously, I'm not doing anything with my left side of my body, and I have to maintain watching sweat because you don't want to spread bacteria. It's all shut up. There's a little bit of bandages kind of wrapped around where the actual cut is, but as for the cut itself, it's not really leaking or anything like that. Um, but I do have to watch just the amount I sweat because I do sweat a lot. Other than that, you know, don't pick up weight with this arm, obviously, and going to be a hell of a lot of leg days along with working this right side of my body. So the plan is to work the right side of my body, still continue doing that. It's not going to even out everything, and I'm not going to overdo anything on my right side, but science-based studies, all this, da 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 it says that basically what I read up on, what I researched as much as I could, and what I know for the past 10 years of you know fitness myself, working the right side of that body is still going to do something, at least something, for the left side. So a counterbalance, anything. You know how if you have a leg day, sometimes you can get an upper body pump. Well, same basis with that, you know, so. Other than all of that, if you guys see me smile in the gym and everything like that, that's going to be great news, but... It's fake news, I'll tell you that. I do want to find the happiness that Herschel gave me in my life. This is a huge setback too, and being home, stuck all day, other than going to the gym, you know, it's really tough. Just being there all the time when I had him all the time, so. But I figured being at the lowest low of my life, which I thought I was at the lowest once before, this is by far much worse. And I really thought that was gonna be the worst point of my life, but that's how life goes. Doesn't mean it's always bad. But there are going to be bad things in your life to come up to make you the person who you're supposed to be. And I'm going to find out what this is all meant for me. In pain, in weakness, there's strength. And I don't know where my strength is in this, but I got to find it. Other than that, let's get this little leg day going.